The Cowboys look to keep their Super Bowl hopes alive today on the road in rainy Seattle. They are in town to play the Seahawks. We got a huge second round matchup of the Cowboys simulation playoffs here in the 2022-23 season. Cowboys march into Seattle looking to put themselves on a date in Miami to get with a trip to the Super Bowl on the line. Cowboys, Seahawks, here we go. Seconds away from kickoff. Greg Zerline and the Cowboys special teams line up there to line up there to kick it away to start this game. If the Cowboys win today, all they will need to do is beat the Dolphins to meet up with the Vikings in the Super Bowl. If the Seahawks win, the Cowboys season is over. From the goal line, it's brought out. Three minute quarter starts now, and the return's a good one all the way out to the Seahawks 28. So that is where Russell Wilson, who is not on the Broncos since this is Madden 22, he is still on the Seahawks in this, but that is okay. The Cowboys have been a whole lot better at home this whole season. They've gone five and one at home. Well, they've gone two and three on the road. So we will see in today the conditions. Cloudy, rainy, cold. First play of the game is a run, and we also have the game's first flag. And that one's going to be coming back because we have an offensive holding on the Seahawks. So the Cowboys catch an early break. It'll be from it'll be a spot foul, so it'll back them up seven, and they'll get the replay first down. It's first and seventeen. This time they run it to the right. He bounces off of Parsons and sprouts up that right sideline, and we have a flag at the end of the play. Now this one's coming back. I did not set it up to have a ton of penalties. They will get first down, but instead of getting all the way out to, say, past the 40, they're just past the 30. Wilson, a slam, that looked like Lockett. He was able to haul in the game's first pass, and Russell Wilson starts his day one and one. It's Tyler Lockett for nine, and the Seahawks finally do get a first down after that mess of penalties on those first few plays. So the conditions definitely favor Seattle. They're used to playing in these conditions up in the unpredictable northwest weather. Well, the Cowboys, they play in a domed indoor stadium, so we'll see how they can match up today. Carson on the run. It's a wall of loose sweaters, only a game of three. Second and seven as we approach the half lead point here in quarter number one of this second round matchup. Cowboys looking to get back to a winning streak. They, they won... They lost the last regular season game, but then were able to get it right back with a 17-14 win over the Arizona Cardinals last week. That was a fun back-and-forth offensive showdown. Had the Murray Deck Prescott going at it. But that was back at AT&T Stadium, so now the Cowboys have to go into the tough road playoff environment. Wilson from the shotgun. And no room to run. Only a yard. And we have a big third and six. Four yards short of the 50. What will Pete Carroll and company draw up here? Can the Cowboys defense get a stand? We're under a minute to go in the first quarter. Two receivers to the left. Two to the right. Carson in the backfield. Wilson will throw. He's got a lot of time. And Parsons read it all the way and nearly picked it off. He jumped that route as Wilson kind of telegraphed that pass. Parsons, however, is able to knock it down, so it will bring up a fourth and down, never, fourth down nevertheless, but it could have been a whole lot worse for Seattle. So the Cowboys will get the ball, re, bar, barring a fake here, which we do not see. The punt goes to the right side, and it'll touch right into that corner of the end zone, so he kind of put it to where he wanted it. And Dak Prescott in the Cowboys offense, will start at their own 20-yard line. There's the looks at the 2020 season stats from Dak. Up and down careers. Struggled with injuries some seasons. He's had some great seasons, some horrible seasons. And we'll see if he can put a big legacy to his name with a, maybe a Super Bowl title this year. First play of the game, he threw it to the wrong color jersey, and it's incomplete. 
Lucky that one wasn't picked. So we've seen quarterbacks already early in this game. They've both gotten out of their rhythm. And they're lucky to have a few of these passes back as there are a few near picks early on. Back from the gun with 20 seconds to go in the first. Dak to Elliott, and he's hit and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard. It's third and 11, and what looks like that will be the final play of the first quarter. We'll see. Both defenses with a strong showing to this point. Offense is looking to find their rhythm. See if the Cowboys can get a third down conversion, and it looks like they'll have to do so after the break. Three minutes in the books. First quarter, said and done. Zeros on the scoreboard. Each team's had it. Can the Cowboys come up with a big third down conversion to keep the drive going? Packed out the Lumen Field here, and they're getting loud. Third and 11 for Dak and the offense. What can they draw up here? Prescott to throw, with time, rolls left, throws across his body, and it's nearly picked off once again with a flag, but I think this will be declined. They call it an illegal forward pass. They say that Dak was passed the line of scrimmage when he threw it. They'll decline it, and it'll be 4th and 11. So, the Cowboys will go 3 and out. We have not seen that too many times this season. They're yet to be shut out. They've put up at least 7 points in every game. And they scored a season high 17 points last game. As this punt will check up at the 2! Brian Enger, are you kidding me? He got a beautiful roll. Got it to sit for him. And what a bomb that was. Brian Anger and the Cowboys special teams getting it done. Tonight will be Seahawks football. They, the Cowboys do get the ball coming out of the half. Russell's backed up with 2.43 to go. Run to the right. Slight hole as he's able to trip forward for call of about six. And Carson will give them some more room to work with here as they're out to the 10. They don't have to snap it before the two minute warning as there's about a two second difference from play clock and game clock. We'll see what they want to do. And they will get it off. Wilson over the middle, lock it. Second time we've seen them hit him up on that wrap today. And it gives them a new set of downs. As we will find ourselves at the two minute warning. Under two to go, first half. Seahawks with the ball. First down at their own 18. Wilson and Carson in the backfield. Carson in motion out to the right. Wilson drops. He faces a four-man rush. There's Lockett once more. Third time the Wilson's hit him up today as all three Seahawks completions have gone to Tyler Lockett. Three receptions for 30 yards. Chains continue to move. Another first down, under a minute 40 to go in half number one. Seahawks looking for some late points. Carson in motion out to the left this time. Cowboys bring pressure. Wilson tries to escape it, and he does just that for a nice run of eight before he was brought down in the open field by Smith. Cowboys, I mean, Wilson, excuse me, Wilson is not the fastest guy whatsoever. Not a guy that we've seen run too much in his career. He's able to split the Cowboys' D-line there as he's read the pressure quick enough. He was able to get a nice quality gain of eight. There's a little check down up to the 45. Timeout number one used by Seattle. Puts him over 50 yards on the day. As they'll have two timeouts remaining with 57 seconds to play in half number one. Right around midfield. 
That Seahawk knows at the logo. Wilson drops back. Another dump down, and he extends that ball across the line again. Another first down for Seattle. Carson, the running back, has his second catch in a row. In the Cowboys' territory on the gain of 10. 52 seconds remaining. Nothing special here for the offense of the Seahawks, but it's working. They're finding holes in the Cowboys' D. Three receivers to the right. Another throw. Cowboys bring the house wide open. And the ball is loose. The Cowboys pick it up. The ball popped free at the last second. And after a bit around, Micah Parsons was able to find it and fall on it. Wide open over the middle of the field before he got laid out. Loses the ball. Everett with the football. Parsons with the recovery. And it, I couldn't tell if that ball is out, but as of now, the Dallas Cowboys are able to survive a scare, and they'll get the ball back. But here you go. Booth review. This is a very important call. We'll have to look at it one more time. And I think we might have this one coming back. I thought at real speed. I mean, I looked away thinking the play was over. And it looks like he's got his backside down there. And I think this one will be overturned. So we had a moment of excitement. But I think the Seahawks will be set up deep in Cowboys territory with a first down on the Everett reception. And that is indeed the case. They overturned the call. Now from the 27. Half a minute to go, Wilson near sideline, able to get those feet in bounds, was... Could not quite tell who that was, but that was, that was actually Carson, the running back again, but right where I was going to here is he did not get his whole body out of bounds, so actually, this... They, there they used the timeout, was I don't... I mean, that was a weird play all around, because he wanted to fall out of bounds to kill the clock. He didn't do that, the clock was still running, and now we've got eight seconds to go. Pete Carroll probably didn't realize it at first, so he uses the timeout with eight seconds to go. And I mean, unless you want to get really risky with it here, I mean, you might as well just kick the field goal. That's the case. So they'll put out the kicker. Go on about a 39-yarder, 38. It's away cleanly, and he splits the uprights. The Seahawks do get on the scoreboard late in the first half, and they do take the game's first lead. But a few poor clock management skills at the end, a few crazy plays, and the Cowboys are lucky to be only down three. So four seconds to go, one final kick and a return will probably put us at the end of the first half. There you see Pete Carroll having to talk with the official, probably about that clock issue, we'll call it there at the few moments ago. But the Seahawks do get points out of a good drive nevertheless, which a drive that started on their own three-yard line. So, barring a miracle here from Pollard, Seattle will take a lead into the half. The Cowboys will get the ball coming out of the break. Short kick brought out from the eight. This is the final play of the first half. Or no, they actually did stop the clock with just one second to go as the return got out to the 33. So one final Hail Mary from Prescott. He'll give everything in the tank. Big crow hop, fires it deep downfield. It's intercepted. So it'll hurt the numbers, but it won't hurt the scoreboard. Picked off at the end of the first half on that Hail Mary attempt. It wasn't anywhere near the end zone anyway. So we will head to the break with the Cowboys being shut out. Can they turn on the offense in the second half? They'll get the ball right away coming out of the break. Looking for a change. Down 3 nothing at the end of one. Welcome back to the second half, or welcome back to Seattle, I should say. We've seen the Cowboys' offense struggle in the first half at times this season. They've been able to make those halftime adjustments and figure it out in the second half. Will we have that be the case again today? They have to piece together a good drive coming out of the break. As I mentioned earlier, they struggle to get fast starts on the road. Two and three on the road all season. And in Seattle, never an easy environment to come into. Pollard will bring it out from about three yards deep. 
He's got a lane up the gut, and he's got it out to the 27. So Dak in the offense. Decent starting field position to get him going. What will result in? Drive number one of the first half. Dak 0 for 3 on his three attempts today. As total, Cowboys have gone back for the yard. That's all they got. First play of the half. Dak to throw. Far sideline. Hauling it in over there is C.D. Lamb. First completion of the day for Dak Prescott. And C.D. Lamb helps him out a bit. Gets those toe tap. And he's got a first down. Nice build-up play to start that half. You get good protection on Dak, and you just get Lamb on a simple out route. Get him in space. Get those short plays to Lamb. He usually is able to make a lot happen after the catch, but there, I mean, he's just as skilled on the sideline as well. So I like that. They stack the left side of the line here. Two and a half to go in the third. Little man in motion. And they did not get the snap off. I wasn't even paying attention to the play clock, and neither were the Cowboys. As that'll back them up five on first down. So a few sloppy penalties from both teams. I mean, that one just looks horrible in the playoffs. They don't get the snap off in time. Instead of going with the left side, they stack the right side here on a first and 15. Up the middle, Elliott tripped up after only three yards. Second and 12. It's the first positive running play on this second attempt for the Cowboys as the first one went backwards way back in the first quarter. Way back in the second quarter, I should say. Second and long, five to snap. They get it off. Seahawks bring four. Dak, check down, Gallup. Hauls it in as he was hit quickly after making that catch. First time we've said Gallup's name today, he goes for six. Umani with the quick hit. And a big third and six from just shy of midfield. Is this four down territory for the Cowboys? Dak alone in the backfield will throw. With time. Over the middle it is. Incomplete. Dalton Schultz got destroyed. Otherwise he had a lot of running room ahead of him. But coming out of nowhere to knock it out of his hands. So the Seahawks, strong defensive backs. Boom! Schultz has it, but then it's just knocked out of his hands. He got lit up. Fourth and six. Do you go for it? The answer is no. They put out Brian Anger, who had a great punt first time out. Let's see if he can pin him deep again. High arcing punt over to the right side, and it will touch down right inside the end zone. He wanted to get it out of bounds. Not quite. Another great attempt by Anger, but he could not put it where he wants it. So now the Seahawks look to put together a game ceiling drive as a touchdown would pretty much put this one away in the final minute of the third quarter. Wilson back out there. Three timeouts aside. Seahawks up three. Carson in motion. Wilson, quick pass to Everett. His second catch of the day. And Russell Wilson, the veteran, plenty of these playoff games in his career. He's 8 for 9 for 77 yards. Short 7-yard games, but they're getting it over the middle. They're getting the completions. They're killing that, or they're wasting that clock. Just what you want. This looks like it will be the final play of the third quarter. Run to the right, Carson! Oh, a stiff arm to get to the outside for a first down. <laughs> In your face, Javon Curse. Carson has plowed through a few strong Cowboys defenders today, that time via the stiff arm. Slaps Kurtz in the face. Get out of here. And then he's able to chug ahead for a first down. It was going to be close if Kurtz is able to come up with that open field tackle. Carson said on and on. I mean, Carson was a smaller guy there. He did not care. First and 10 from the 38. Seahawks looking to put it away. One final play in the third quarter. 
Wilson. And they'll actually, they will let that clock go all the way down to end the quarter. So we will head to the four. Cowboys down three, trying to avoid their first shutout of the season. The defense is going to need to help them out. Here's Wilson. Three minutes to play. Up the middle, Carson. Nowhere to go. Micah Parsons came up and dropped him. Only three yards on the play. What seems like, I mean, I mean, any yards here for the Seahawks is good. Any clock they can kill is good. But the Cowboys, they've been beat up defensively. Is only giving up three yards. There's a win. Clock continues to tick. 250. It's a very long 250 for the Seahawks, a very short 250 for the Cowboys. Who will be moving on to the third round? From the shotgun. Two to snap. It's a kind of, kind of a touch pass there from Wilson to Lockett, who was darting across. It was almost a jet sweep, but it, instead of a handoff, it was a flip. And the Cowboys spotted it out, whatever it was. Only one yard gain. It is third and six. Seahawks have not been in too many third down situations today. This could decide the game, but first we will have to head to the two minute warning. Each team will get an extra few minutes to think it through. Two minutes to go, a trip to round three on the line. Seasons looking to stay alive. One's going home, one's moving on. A huge third and six coming up from the 42 yard line. A first down here might just put it away. Carson and Wilson in the backfield. Russell in a throw. Cowboys bring six, and they leave him wide open once again. It looked like that was Lockett. Just running a simple straight route right over the middle. Wilson able to hit him, and he's up over 100 yards on the day. No, that was actually DK Metcalf. Been quiet all day that he went unaccounted for right through the middle of the field. And now they're in field goal range with a chance to put this one away. Cowboys did use their first timeout. Everett in motion. They fake it to him. Instead, give it to Carson. He's two yards short of the line to gain. Cowboys down to two timeout. Or one timeout after they use their second. 151 to play. This will be the first shutout of the season against the Cowboys. Here is Wilson. Boy, does the turnover sound nice. Carson gets the first down. And that will most likely put this one away. Cowboys use their third and final timeout. They're out of up. And Seahawks are able to either get into the end zone or kill off this final minute 46. That will be the end of the 2022-23 Cowboys simulation season. And we'll be on to MLB simulations as they can very well just take a knee. The Cowboys will end with a record of, let me do the math, 7 and 5. Obviously, that fifth loss, barring a miracle, will be coming here on the road in Seattle. They go five and one at home. They go a horrible two and four on the road. Carson swallowed up by three Cowboys there. Jamal or. Yeah, Lewis was able to get over there in time with some help from Parsons and Lawrence. Cowboys can't stop the clock again. Third and 13. We'll probably be, just settle for a field goal here with the Seahawks. Here you see Mike McCarthy talking to his two-star offensive players, Prescott and Elliott. It was one heck of a season. 
It didn't start the great, well, it started great, but then they went through a really rough patch of losing three in a row. They were then able to pick up great four in a row. Then the season on a high note, one final name. The final 20 seconds are going to tick off the clock. No need to run another play. No need to kick a field goal. No need to score a touchdown. The lowest scoring game of the season ends in heartbreak for the Cowboys. As they indeed do not snap it. They lined up in field goal formation just to be nice. But no need to snap it. Mike McCarthy slams his play sheet. It was a season with a lot on the line for the Cowboys. A lot of hope coming in. They did not disappoint throughout the regular season. They were looking good. The offense, 17 points last week in Arizona. Today, they can't even put up a single tally. They get shut out for the first time all season, and it comes in the worst of times. Russell Wilson stays clutch in the playoffs. The Seahawks are moving on. The Cowboys are shut out for the first time this season. And I will be saying goodbye from this season. 2022-23 said and done. We'll see you in 2023-24 for more Cowboys NFL simulations. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Tell me in the comments if you want some MLB The Show Cubs simulations. When it's that time, we'll have to see, though. Thanks for watching, everybody. Once again, make sure to like and subscribe. The Cowboys just didn't come to play. Their season comes to an end. Thanks for watching this entire season. Thanks for watching this video. A lot of hope for the Cowboys, but it ends in heartbreak. Again, thanks for watching this entire season. I'm signing off for Madden Simulations, and we will see you possibly in the MLB Simulations. It was another great season. But the Cowboys fall short with a second round exit as they fall to the Seahawks on the road 3-0. Goodbye, everybody. NFL Madden Simulations 22-23. Signing off. It was a great year. And we look forward to another one next year. We will see you all then. Goodbye, everybody.